Hello everyone, today I'm back with a massive denim try-on for my curvy ladies. I wanted to know what the best pair of jeans is for those of you who want to update from skinny, just like I do, but are not quite into the super wide leg trends at the moment. I tried many different styles and here they are from the tighter fit to the widest fit. At the end of the video, I will also tell you which one is my favorite and all the links to the products I show you today are in my description box along with what I'm wearing, both the top and the accessories and the makeup. All right, so if you're ready, let's go. The first pair I want to talk to you about is the Cezanne Louvre 60 or Sexy Raw Jeans. Personally, I love this cut because it's slightly tapered and it shows ankles a little bit and, you know, it's not that that straight. So it gives a very nice silhouette and especially accentuates the bottom area, giving it a really, really nice peachy shape. Something I also like about this model is the higher mid-rise. So it's not a complete mid-rise in that you know it just creates rolls so it sits really nicely on the waist and on the hips now let's talk about the cons of this model because there are some as i mentioned before there is a seventh eighth length which can be a pro but can also be a con in that it's very hard to style these jeans during the winter time because of its composition it's not as easy to style it with boots um, it just creates this visually weird effect but depending on where you live during the winter it's also hard to style anything with non-boots shoes and this is what happens to me so i didn't get a lot of use for this model during the winter that being said i also love the color it's also not the most comfortable pair of jeans i have because of its composition I have the older model, so there's only 1% elastane, but I know that they changed the composition into 2% elastane. I haven't tried that, so I don't know how comfortable it is, but for me, with only 1% elastane and, and the thickness of these jeans, which are really, really thick, it's a real raw jean material it's not the most comfortable i have it's also very very tight on the hips area which contributes to the overall shaping effect which is a pro but it's also a con in that once again it's not the most comfortable pair of jeans i have Suzanne does this model in a lot of colors and i got this one in pink which unfortunately is not available on their website anymore but it's definitely really cute for the mid-season and the summer as well the second pair I tried is from Abercrombie and Fitch from their line Curve Love. It's the high rise mom jeans. Now I have to say the Curve Love line really does make a lot of difference and I wish more brands would pick up on this because it does change the game both in comfort and in the look for curvy people and, and curvy people are not just mid-size and plus sizes by the way you know curves come in all sizes and even when I was a really normal size even at my thinnest I was still curvy and I would still have all the problems that I have today so if any brand is watching this please follow the example of Abercrombie and Fitch Anyway, let's talk about the model. It is very, very comfortable and it's once again a slightly tapered straight leg. This model in particular has a high rise and I have to say that the cons are all pretty personal so it so it just because it didn't work for me it doesn't mean that it won't work for you for example one of the cons is that relaxed fit is not my favorite and I don't see it in my personal style and I don't see it paired with anything I own but if it is something that you have in your style palette then I encourage you to try it because it's a really really comfortable model the second con I see is that um, somehow makes your bottom look a little less round so if that's not something that you want stay away from this pair but if that's something that really doesn't bother you then by all means i encourage you to try it the third model is also from abercrombie and fitch and that it is their curve love high rise 90s relaxed jeans um this i believe is their best seller and it is easy to see why because it's really really well cut it sits incredibly well on the waist thanks to the high rise and i would say it also has kind of a slimming effect in that area it looks absolutely great at the back and it really hugs the hips really really well that being said once again the fit was right but the style wasn't for me so this relaxed 90s fit is it's not the best on my body type 
and that's my personal opinion. I really didn't see straight leg cuts being the cut for me personally. And also, um, it has a slightly sportier look. And sporty is nothing I have in my style palette. But once again, it may work for you. And I highly encourage you to try it if you like straight leg jeans. Because this one really, really looks beautiful okay guys we're almost there how exciting and before i pass on to model number four i just wanted to say because i know that i will get some questions about this lipstick because i've gotten many many questions in real life um yeah i just wanted to quickly show you which lipstick it is. it is this one from queen musia um it's called montreux and if you apply it straight from the bullet it is pretty true to color and i love it like that as well but today i only dabbed it and it gives this um Bouche mordue. Very sweet, very romantic, um, kind of a reddish nude. Um, so, so I talked about Queen Musia's lipsticks uh, in this video right here, which you can check out. And in the video, I was wearing another shade, so you can also see another shade in use. Um, but anyway, I will put the link in the description box. Um, I will also insert my discount code, which allows you to get 10% off. The only thing I ask of you is that you use the link in the description box. Okay, how exciting. We're at the fourth model, which is the Levi's High Rise Flare. I think this is the right model for you if you want to graduate from skinny jeans, but you're not there yet with a wider leg. And the reason is that the top part actually look like skinny jeans, your regular skinny jeans. And basically this model only flares from the knee down. It has a high rise and it's tight on the thighs, which looks particularly good on the hips. It is very comfortable and you can tell that the percentage of elastane is really big. Nevertheless, in my experience, Levi's jeans, even when they contain a little bit more elastane, are really more qualitative than other brands and they really last a long time. As for the cons, you'll have to accept that this model gaps a little. I mean, it's not expressly made for curvy people, so it is to be expected. And also I would say that if they wanted to improve this model a little bit more, they would have to start making it flare from the knee down and not below the knee and down because this is what happens. And I don't know, for some reason, I think it could flare a little bit more. Okay, the final model and my personal favorite is the Levi's ribcage belt. This one has all of the advantages of the normal ribcage with an added 70 flare to it. So it has a super high rise and it is slim through the hips and the thighs. So it really makes a nice silhouette overall and it elongates the legs a lot. Not that I need it, now I have like super long legs, but it really doesn't matter because the silhouette is really elegant. And it has the 70s vibe, or early 2000 vibe to it. It makes your bottom look very peachy as well. So when I mentioned it has all of the advantages from the normal rib cage, that's really what I meant. And for the cons, you have to accept that it gaps a little bit. And also I would say that one of the cons is that the sizing is not consistent through all the washes. So if you're using my link and buying them online, I would say get two pairs, get your normal size and a size down, then I suggest you get two sizes and then just return the one that doesn't fit. Well guys, I hope this video was helpful to you. As I mentioned, all the links are in the description box. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you aren't yet and watch this video next. Bye.